Wait again, delaying efforts to control radiation leaks from the complex. And that's not all. A significant increase of radioactive iodine was found in seawater near the crippled plant. Extremely high levels of radioactive substances have been detected in water accumulated at the number two reactor's turbine housing unit. Radiation levels soared to 10 million times the normal one, forcing an evacuation of workers from the plant yet again. An evacuation order has been issued within a 20 kilometer radius of the nuclear power plant. So it is unless so it is unlikely that there will be an immediate adverse effect on residents. High levels of radiation were also found in the sea near the trouble plant, 1,850 times the normal level. The revelation triggered the government to step up its monitoring efforts. As of now, there is no report of any adverse impact on the marine life, especially beyond 20 kilometers. Experts say there is very low possibility, but we must strengthen monitoring without showing laxity. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency had warned earlier that radioactivity inside the reactor units was rising fast and extracting the radioactive water was a priority. But the authorities have yet to figure out where to put the contaminated water. The government said the situation is nowhere near to being resolved, although it was not getting worse after power supply was restored and fresh water pumped into the cool reactors. Meanwhile, more radiation-contaminated vegetables were found in the Fukushima region. Edible flowers of wasabi detected radioactive iodine 1.25 times the recommended safety level. Although 13 other fresh produce items were rendered safe, all shipments of spinach grown in open fields remain suspended. The nuclear saga plaguing the plant is sadly overshadowing search and recovery efforts. A decimated site as far as the eye can see does nothing to deter these search teams who continue to pray for finding any signs of life. Survivors have begun trickling back to what is left of their homes and businesses, salvaging whatever they can find. And more help is on the way just for them. Israel sent 50 doctors and a field clinic to Japan today to assist victims who are now returning home. More than 250,000 people rallied in central London yesterday, protesting against public spending cuts announced in last Wednesday's budget. Police made 200 arrests after anarchist groups splintered from the main union-led protest march and attacked banks and luxury stores. Banks are blamed by many Britons for a financial crisis that prompted the government to implement the deepest spending cuts in more than a generation. It was the biggest protest in London since the anti-Iraq war rallies in 2003. The mostly peaceful demonstration descended into violence and chaos after groups of black-clad anarchists began a destructive rampage through the capital's financial and commercial district. They threw flares, paint bombs, lit fires and held running skirmishes with police. Hooded figures climbed onto the roof of luxury food store Fortnum & Mason in a destructive frenzy that's been condemned by March organizers. They say the wanton violence by a small group of about 500 youngsters deflected attention away from a peaceful rally of a quarter million average Britons who are bearing the brunt of the government's cuts on spending, tax rises and pension reforms. As many as half a million public sector jobs will be lost. Britain's jobless rate has risen to 8%, a 17-year high. It's particularly bad among young people. Around 20% of them are unemployed. But Prime Minister David Cameron says deep cuts are inevitable to clean up the mess left by the previous Labour government. The Conservative Liberal Democrat coalition, in power since last May, is pushing ahead with a tough debt reduction program to eliminate a budget deficit running at about 10% of GDP by 2015. Opposition leader Ed Miller... 
，之後轉入北打街，去到皇后大道中交界，左側小巴同巴士前行。警方封咗一條行車線，俾佢哋行去新世界大廈抗議，反對地產霸權同政府嘅土地政策。搶曬啲地咧，就賣俾發展商，就低價同我哋攞樓，就高價賣俾發展商，所以個樓價咁高。跟住佢哋再去長江集團中心，三建高五萬，最後去到立法會示威。要求制定一個幫助基層市民嘅預算案。有線電視記者葉文基報導。財政司司長曾俊華喺網誌度話，會盡快定出派六千蚊嘅細節，既要方便市民攞錢，又要保障私隱。曾俊華話，其中一個方向係透過銀行千幾間分行處理市民嘅登記，同發放六千蚊嘅安排。不過政府首要係爭取立法會下個月中通過預算案。至於泛民提出設立全民退休保障，曾俊華就話尊重佢哋嘅意見，但要社會有共識至可以推行。佢又希望將今次預算案引發嘅爭議轉化為正面力量，令社會聚焦討論民生問題，而唔係喺政治鬥爭中打轉。佢會總結經驗，好好改善下一次嘅安排，提升施政效果。善休息陣，翻嚟會報道。政府聽日公布最低工資參考指引，但唔會講明飯中同休息日計唔計落人工。點解嘅？係草地唔可以瞓嘅。除咗唔准瞓草地，康文署仲有招數，防止露宿者喺管轄範圍度瞓覺。陣間會睇下。伦敦几十万人游行抗议削减公共开支，市中心多间店铺都被破坏